Good morning and buen camino peregrino. If you are watching this video, you are probably getting ready to walk the Camino de Santiago. So stay tuned. I've got some tips coming up to help you get ready. Okay, I'm 30 days away from walking the Camino de Santiago and I have just uh, hit the final phase of my preparation. So I'm carrying a heavy, heavy pack today and doing some hill work on top of that. So if I do this type of a workout regularly between now and when I actually start the Camino, my pack's gonna feel really light and I will be in shape Carrying 25 pounds on my back this morning. So uh, I'm a little bit heavy. I expect that when I actually get on the Camino, my pack is only gonna weigh 20 pounds. And this is just a training exercise. So here we go. In my opinion, you will face four major challenges on the Camino de Santiago. One is the distance that you will walk. A typical day on the Camino could be anywhere between 10 and 20 miles, so take that into consideration. Number two, the second challenge is the weight that you will be carrying on your back. Most people carry everything in a backpack and that is something to consider. The third challenge, in my opinion, is the terrain. You need to be prepared for hills if you are going to encounter hills. And lastly, the fourth challenge has to do with the repetitive nature of the Camino. On a typical Camino journey, you don't take a break uh, between walking days so in other words you're walking day after day and this can be very very difficult to overcome but i will give you some tips coming up on how to prepare for the camino de santiago so stay tuned All right, now that you know about the four challenges, let me give you some easy tips on how to overcome them. The first challenge, the distance. Well, I recommend you start walking every single day at least six months before your Camino. Do what you're comfortable with. If it's only one or two miles, that's fine. Week after week, add a little bit of distance. At the end of your preparation, when you're just about 30 days away, from actually walking the Camino, you should be comfortable doing six to eight miles without any problem. As far as the challenge of the weight in your backpack, I recommend that at first you walk without any weight and then gradually increase weight by a, a backpack uh, start out with uh, nothing but the backpack, then stuff maybe a five pound bag of rice in there, then add another bag of rice, 
and another bag of rice as you get stronger and are closer to the actual walk. So gradually increase the weight. For the third challenge, the terrain, you must train yourself to walk under conditions similar to what you will face on the Camino. So if you face a hilly Camino like the Primitivo or El Norte, you need to incorporate stairs if you don't have uh, access to hills. So do stairs, find a tall building, go up and down uh, those stairs, get your muscles ready, and if possible, wear your backpack at the same time. Uh, obviously, if you live in a hilly area or hills have hills nearby, hills are preferable. The Challenge number four, the repetition. Well, the only way to prepare for this is to walk every single day. So six months out from the Camino, you're gonna walk every day, whatever you're comfortable with. One to two miles a day is fine. But as you progress, start adding miles. So uh, at the end of your preparation, when you're just a month away from the Camino, you should be comfortable with doing six to eight miles a day and with your backpack. So those are my four challenges and tips to overcome the challenges. I Okay, I made it back to the vehicle in one piece. I'm a bit tired. The heavy pack, I will admit, makes it much harder to walk. So incorporate the heavy pack as often as possible into your routine. I hope this video and the tips I've shared with you help you in your preparation. And I wish you a buen camino.